Hello, and welcome back to Weekend Cartoon Reviews, or animated films, but... Alright, this time, we're gonna be reviewing Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Normally, I don't do anime reviews unless it's the movie of an anime, just because I'd have a lot more under my hands to review, but if you want anime reviews, let me know, and I'll just review pretty much everything I've watched. If you want, that is. Anyway, so... Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is... It's a prequel to the series Jujutsu Kaisen, so there's no Itadori or anything like that. However, the movie was good. It's not better than the show, and it's not worse than the show either. The story follows Yuda, who, um... The movie gets dark at the beginning, let me tell you, because he makes a knife, and then said he tried to kill himself with it. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I, I didn't expect the movie to get pretty dark in the beginning already. But basically, um, he makes a promise to his childhood friend, Rika, who later gets hit by a car. Well, not later, just moments later gets hit by a car. And she becomes a cursed spirit. And now, he lives with the cursed spirit and is gifted. He's welcomed into the school as, like, a grade four, I believe it was, a grade four. And nobody could really believe he's that strong or really take him seriously for the most part. And yeah, it's a great movie. It's good. It's a prequel, like I said. So it's safe to say it's good. It's not better than the Demon Slayer movie, in my honest opinion. I mean, for right, right now it has a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, but honestly, I I'd give it an 8, probably. I mean, it's not like perfect to me. But, it's still good. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I was on the edge of my seat in the final moments of the movie and whatnot, yeah. This review's probably gonna be shorter just because I don't really want to spoil a whole lot for this. But, yeah. The movie's good. <laughs> and there's a villain who declares war against the people at school with all the spirits and just everything just goes nuts at the end to me is really the best way I can describe it. I believe his name was... Suguru? That's the bad guy's name in the movie? I think it was Suguru? I could be wrong. Could be thinking of another character. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's got the show's charm, and for a prequel, it definitely works. Most of those prequel movies, from what I've known, well, not anime in particular, but just prequels in general, like, usually don't do too well with critics. Like, I mean, Minions, for an example, didn't do too well with critics, but I thought it was okay. Minions, and yeah, Minions 2 is coming out this summer. Anyway, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero was great. That's really all there is to it. <laughs> and I was satisfied. It got suspenseful. I, I was really satisfied with everything that happened. And I wish my theater cheered more during the movie, but they were clapping at least. I won't really mention anything else, so I might be wrong about some things about the movie. <laughs> I hope not, because I saw it yesterday in theaters dubbed. So yeah, my apologize. My apologies if I do get anything wrong here. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. Bye, everyone.